Viagem. Just wear a few notes, Paulo. Yeah. Tum, tum, tum. It's a very complex record. It was supposed to be the other way around. We're getting old and play less, but we're stepping up. <laughs> we're doing everything wrong, and it feels good. Everybody's on the prime right now. Everybody's feeling that, so. Don't think about so much. Just get up, have some food, just go in, start to warm up, and get ready for Mr. Yen's. When you do stuff like in Sao Paulo, as we've done before, things get out of hand a little bit because of the traffic. You already get into the studio totally stressed. Here, basically, sleep inside the studio, and it's basically 24 hours there. Makes life easier. This is our favorite place in Odebri. Of course, uh, beside the studio that we love so much. This is the hangout area, the party time. We come here every day to shop and get stuff. <laughs> Let's get some caviar because it's very cheap here. It is expensive in Brazil. Maxi. Now I forget what I have to buy. Goddamn Dave. Uncle Ben's right. Tariane. The little baby spinach. Come here. Ten different smells going on at the same time. It smells good. Oh yeah. I like it. This song is a bitch. Should I call Robert Trujillo to help me out? This is the calm song. Acid vibe. Different from 2016. It was a lot shorter then. Yes. <laughs> this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I want to see you. Thank you. Watch your dive. The fine. Like a, oh, watch me. Uh, and then there's a lot of parts in this one. Doesn't seem to be as complicated. Let's not jinx that. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Going for the Nobel Prize of uh, string muting, yes. Here it goes. I didn't fuck up, I don't know about you. But <laughs> <laughs> this type of uh, string muting, that's the secret behind the Norwegian true black metal sound. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually how one of the members of Mayhem died. He was tangled up in the bass, and the others just kept playing. <laughs> uh, today we started at six in the morning, very early, and we had the break. Picking up I'm around eleven o'clock tonight. The only thing that I know it's like I've been sleeping for about three, four hours a day. So I'm just a little anxious. I'll sleep when the job is done. I'm gonna have to do a shisto. That means I'm gonna be off for 24 hours. <laughs> the most important thing, if you want to be the assistant of a big studio, you know, make it big name, the most important is that you know to use this tool. Follow me. You see? Black magic portion. <laughs> Smells like victory. I want you to play the 
space. Everywhere! Vortex. Those ones that need to be fresh. What? <laughs> I bring uh, a lot of trouble for this band. <laughs> all of this life <laughs> we played together for 35 years I can see the evolution of Paolo since day one that he was not very comfortable in the studio he didn't record some albums and then slowly he got his confidence working with great producers that really made him feel better in the studio and feel more confident It's a challenge for him in the studio. It's not the easiest place to be and to feel comfortable in doing what he's doing. To really place your emotions down into the music while being there, it's a completely different state of mind and it's not something that a lot of people can do. Each album's becoming more and more difficult as far as the music itself that's being written, but at the same time it's becoming easier, I think, for him to go in and to do what he has to do. I have to applaud him for really pushing at it. I admire his ability to not quit. How difficult the situations may be, it really comes down to what Paulo really wants. You still have the chance to travel, play live shows. For me, it's what I enjoy the most, to be able to see new cultures, new places. I love that. If you like Machine Messiah, definitely you're gonna like this one for sure. <laughs> it's a step up. I've been doing this for a long time, met a lot of people, worked with a lot of people. I guess you find your way of handling the human being, you know, not necessarily the bass player. That's unique for each person, everyone is different. Paolo basically has to 
play all these really difficult thrash riffs uh, on the bass, which is not an easy task. We have some fantastic low end on the album. Yeah, I never really enjoyed to be in the studio. You know, still practice, still try to prepare to be ready for the studio. Every time <laughs> I get stuck somehow. Mike a little bit. <laughs> He's more of a live guy for sure. That's nothing. He tries to keep a secret either. Dive is not working. Just going through all the songs and uh, fixing the wrong notes that I was playing. <laughs> yeah. It has to be done. And I'm very slow to... So supposedly supposed, was supposed to be the to correct things. You know, sometimes it takes me a while to understand. Patience is the key with Paolo. Be patient, yes. Yeah, yeah. Go to bed and try to sleep and keep waking up, looking up at the clock. Am I late? Am I late? Modern Dave. I use my reference here. I have a video of an album Andreas playing. Sounds perfect in the garage band. Wanna go in there? It'll sound like shit. <laughs> oh, it's very nice, you know. He has a very particular way to work. I have to go and take a shit. Alright. A lot of details, nothing escapes from him. Not even a single noise, so it must be perfect every time. Uh, cool. Okay. Let's give me uh, one more take on this. It's a little out of pitch this one. Let's take you in on the slide in. I want more boom, more sound there. More sound. I think we need to come down deeper before deeper. you go. A little too fast. One more time. One more time. One more time. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, it could be more sexy on the up uh, bringing. Yeah, one more time. Two billion and counting. Plus Swedish tax oh. and still counting. Slide, Paolo. Quick slide, quarter note slide. One more time. That's sounding good. One more time. Yeah, one more time. Something. <laughs> I need to find different approaches for each person. Make sure they stay focused, but also stay hungry. I think that I usually succeed in that. If I don't, I'll just play it myself. <laughs> I don't have to use that. So you are supposed to play. Now we move straight to the last chorus. Okay. The same piece of ass kicking stomp fucking riff until the nightmare comes. I had it five minutes ago, but I just wanted to see you in pain. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Master, the boss. Or rehearse it a little bit? I know what it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be a quick one, two, three, four, but up, but up. Okay. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, no, no, but, but it's feel the formula. There's still a right? kick there that's killing me. <laughs> How do you want me to do this? Yeah, a little oh. too random, perhaps. I live for this. <laughs> Don't make me think too much. If I think too much, I fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> nice. nice.
I think so. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It, it fits in a, in a weird, unfitting way. Uh, do it again. And then you go deep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, there you have it. There you did it. <laughs> you, you just need to restart the cycle there. Bada 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 bada. One, two, three, four. It's weird. It's yeah. <laughs> it is. One more time. <sighs> easy sometimes that <laughs> those guys are gonna hate me forever <laughs> sorry <Flea. laughs> are you what are you muting me follow that lick going into the, to the next oh, part. I don't know what to do. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever been crazy, Paolo? I'm crazy by nature. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that? No. I wasn't completely crazy. <laughs> oh, you went crazy? <laughs> Crazier than that? I went completely crazy. All right. This is the sex take. Stay the Yeah, nailed it! <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. <laughs> First song. They need to know how to deal with Paolo. Paolo the Strange. The producer's crazy. Sorry about that, Ian's. I know. <laughs> I think that Paulo is such a great character. Fantastic to be around, and he always has a story. He lives the life that no one else does, really. I really love him. I feel myself like I complete the rest of the guys. The last piece of the puzzle. <laughs> But he's done a great job, especially this time around, because it's hard work and it's not that forgiving. <laughs> a lot of work after the record is done to relearn the whole thing. But we'll do it. Why 
complicate things, Andreas. Yeah, Andreas. Why? Why? Here's my resignation letter. Fuck you, I'm not doing this life. <laughs> what do you think? We were constantly <laughs> waiting for the easy songs. They never came. Next Me. record, man, I promise you, we're gonna pay off and do the whole record in one week. <laughs> And definitely today is a better musician than ever, you know, and on his career. I mean, he's doing an amazing, fantastic job on bass with Jens, talking about Sepultura bass, which was always kind of simpler and going more with the groove. Now he's following more the guitar. The music is asking for something like that. His bass playing is better than ever. With communicating and time, I think we all learn a lot being together. Paulo, it's great to see him grow in ways that I never imagined. Heavy metal bass on the top. <laughs> I'm very happy. It's going to be a tremendous record. Something else, you know, something that I never personally experienced before in my career. I basically can't wait till February to see the release and the people's comment on it. <laughs> <laughs>